Hi everybody, it's Jill for today and I have candy making anxiety. I do, I do, I do. I am going to make English toffee. Now I have looked across the internet for an easy, no fail English toffee and I have found two or three of them and I've looked them over and I have decided on one. So that's where we're going. We're going to do this together, right? Okay. In this bowl down below here on my counter, I have butter and I have sugar, a smidgen of water, I don't know why the smidgen, but a smidgen of water and just a touch of salt. And I am to beat this until it is, uh, what is it called here? Uh, creamy. Okay, so we're going here and I'm going to get this started, you know, and we'll cut the camera and we'll come back. All right, so I have mix this up it's nicely you know combined that I can feel the sugars in there and everything's looking really nice so far right I've got this step down okay I'm gonna meet you at the stove for step two all right I am at the stove now and I have a nice heavy bottomed uh, heavy you know saucepan nothing lightweight and I'm to put all of this and I am following these instructions to the letter I'm to put this in the pot on very very low heat I guess that I guess that's one of the secrets to this particular recipe is that it's done on you know start out on a low heat to make sure that that butter is melted slowly so that's what we're going to do the instructions also said it can take up to 10 minutes to get this butter and I'm actually going to turn it down even a little bit lower because that's starting off low very low once this is melted um, and ready to go to that next step, I'll bring us back. We'll see you later. While my butter is almost ready to uh, start working the next step, a couple of things I, I might wanted to mention. You really should have a candy thermometer or some sort of a thermometer. Now this is a TheraPen and you can use it for everything including candy making. I love mine and I do have a link down below if you're interested in looking at a TheraPen. If you do any kind of baking or barbecuing or anything that you want a temperature read on, perfect. The other thing, you're going to need a, a pan, of course, to put your toffee in. Now this is just a really, a really good bake, you know, baking sheet. This is what I, what they call a quarter uh, sheet and I've lined it with some parchment paper. So that's another thing you're going to need is a nice, you know, something that'll take that heat. Just a good cooking sheet will do. All right, well, we are ready to start the next step. So we're gonna come down to this pot and you're gonna see, he's bringing that, he's bringing that camera, okay. Now you're gonna see here that it's melted and it's been melting, it did take just about 10 minutes. And it said that, it, the instruction said yes, the butter and the sugar would separate, which we see here, they have separated. Now I'm to turn this up to medium high which I am doing. I'm going to double check. To, uh, I've got these instructions written out and I'm telling you, I have read them and read them and read them. So I'm just, well, I want this to be a success. That's all there is to it. So I have this now on medium high. The instructions now say, as the heat increases, it will bubble and foam as the water boils off. The mixture will double in volume at this point. So make sure that your pot is big enough to accommodate the increase in volume, which I believe this one is because I have made uh, things in this pot where you had to, you know, take that into consideration that it would foam up on you. So I believe this one uh, will hold, God, let's hope, huh? And it says this will take about five minutes for this process to begin. Once it does, and I feel it, I can hear it actually beginning to sizzle in there and we're going to just take a, a quick little break and when it starts to do that foaming I'll bring you in. All right as you can see here yes we're starting to get some boiling. The instructions I have here and of course I'll put all the instructions down below in the description box with the recipe and I will give uh, credit I don't recall the person's name right now but I will certainly link you it was uh, I think it was a Pinterest to who whose recipe this is, especially if it works out good. 
he says you don't need to boil it and stir it at the same time come in every so often and give it a stir but this people who stir and stir which I do he says it's not necessary well I don't know about that I mean it's still separated it's still separated and this is what's always been my problem whenever I've made an English toffee and I, it's a common problem you'll read about it in the internet how it will separate and that's it breaks that's what it's called it breaks and the, the milk or excuse me the sugar and the butter just separate and the milk solids are in there kind of doing their own thing anyway I'm gonna bring you in every so often just so you can see what's happening in the pot but I'll break for now and we shall be back I can see this beginning to change color I have been away from the camera from you for about well two or three minutes and I, I've just kind of given it one of these things you know just I'm keeping a certain do not walk away from this anytime you make candy don't walk away from it I've made caramels before for like caramel corn that sort of thing and it, it's just don't ever walk away from a pot like this but as you can see now you see in the center there there is a uh, you know it's beginning to get I, oh it's really beginning to get a nice caramelly color and again I'm just kind of doing this motion and I certainly am not going to have a problem with it uh, getting too high up in this pot I will let you know what size quart pot this is I think it's four or five so I'm going to again I think I'm gonna let you go here for a couple of minutes and I will bring you back when it well I don't know it's working pretty fast it's really yeah it's beginning to move pretty quickly and um, it, he said take it out of 285 but don't let it go over 300 oh wow look at that it's a two basically 250 I just checked the temperature on this and we're up to 280 and it went fast actually I'm kind of surprised at how fast it went I'm gonna take its temperature one more time here because it's really getting into that toffee color and I don't want it to burn let's see where we're at oh shoot come on I'm at oh I'm at 297 I'm taking it off now what I have to do is to remove it from the heat and add a teaspoon of vanilla that will do this this is you know you're adding cold to hot so let it kind of do its thing there all right and I'm going to bring my pan in get that all mixed in in there a lot of time uh, candy I've noticed they use uh, baking soda like peanut brittle you use baking soda all right that is off I've got that vanilla all straight mm, I can smell the vanilla okay it's going into my pan oh see it did burn on the bottom there Wow huh it did burn on the bottom I'll show you it's scorched I thought I smelled it scorching why he would say you could leave this uh, without um, stirring it no way let me show you the bottom of this pan that did scorch see there now what you do is put this in water and just let it soak for a while and that will take care of the problem okay to come over here to look at my toffee I'll bring it up to you all right okay so actually you know what I'm going to do right now I have some nuts I wasn't going to do this but I think I'm going to do it I'm going to add just a uh, just a few here and there because I'm going to be doing chocolate chips in a few moments uh, as soon as this begins to firm up a little bit add the chocolate chips to it allow those to melt and then um, we'll spread it out so we have a little, to a little chocolate topping all right I think I'm going to let that go just a little here and there just to give it a little crunch I'm still concerned <laughs> Just a little concerned now I'm afraid I burned it oh, okay the the toffees in the pan it has to cool slightly so I can sprinkle those chocolate chips on so they melt and then smooth them out to make that chocolate topping and then I'll sprinkle some more almonds on top I don't know I think it's burned I, I mean I think it might be a little burned we'll see about that I think the pan was too hot and I had it exactly where he said medium high so you know what we'll finish it out 
and the proof is in the tasting. That's what it is. We are ready to put the chocolate chips on there. I have allowed that surface to just get enough where I can put these on there and still, you know, still melt the chocolate. And then once that chocolate is melted, you know, we'll see how that works. So come on down here and we will, these are just, you know, semi-sweet chocolate chips. I'm going to just sprinkle those all over the top. And hopefully that is still going to be warm enough to melt this chocolate. Okay, well, let me finish this up. And once we are ready to, um, you know, smooth it out to coat the top of this chocolate, I'll bring you back. These have melted enough. See here, you know what I had to do actually? I, uh, the uh, toffee cooled off so quickly that I actually had to uh, put the pan in the oven uh, with the broil on very low and I didn't have it directly under the, really what I wanted to do was just warm that chocolate up. It didn't take long, just a couple of minutes, but it, it did, it's, well, it's anyway, we're gonna, like I said, we'll see how it tastes. Okay, now that is nicely melted and nicely spread out. Now at this point, you know, this is your option to, to sprinkle nuts on or not. And we like it, this is a gift, but we, we do like it ourselves with the, uh, with the nuts. Well, I've just been informed. <laughs> I kept thinking, what the heck is he signaling me over there? He wants this, take it. <laughs> and now I'm gonna sprinkle nuts on top of this because we like, we like it with the, um, with the chopped nuts on top. It just kind of finishes off an English toffee. It's, you know, that's what we're used to. You don't have to do it, but why not, right? It's the holiday season. This would be a wonderful recipe if you had pecans. You know, you could do a pecan uh, toffee. <sighs> well, we're gonna let this cool completely and we're gonna break it up. Oh look, yeah, he's gonna show it to you. Look at that. It looks like toffee. I think it smells like toffee. So we're gonna see if it tastes like toffee. Once it's all cooled, and we're ready to break it up into some pieces. We'll bring it back for the great taste off. We'll see ya. Whew. We're done. It's done. It's cooled off. I think the chocolate's firmed up. And we're gonna take a taste. Now we've not tasted it all. The director is in the director's position on the other side of the camera because he doesn't feel he's camera worthy today. But let's take a look at this delicious looking toffee. There it is. And really, I think it looks, don't you think it looks really authentic? It looks like toffee. It does. So I'm gonna give you a piece of it. I'll give you this piece here. Let me, sh can you see that piece? Can you see that piece? Yeah. Okay, that's yours. Okay. And I'm gonna take a little piece here. It and right, we're gonna oh. taste this. Wow, got a crunch factor. Mmm. Mm. I think it's too hard. Well, toffee's supposed to be hard. Do you think it tastes burnt? Maybe. Tiniest, tiniest fraction. I wouldn't say it's not eating worthy. Hmm? I don't think it's not. I think we're used to a lighter toffee, mm -hmm. you know? It's very good. But I think it's awfully good, but boy, mm. it is. You don't think it's got a lot of bite to it and bite you back? Here. No more so than like C's. Okay. I'll try to find one more little piece here. This is too big, but here we go. That was very good. That was mostly chocolate. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. That's pretty fine. I'll bet this microphone is picking up nothing but crunching. <laughs> mm. Well, I cleared all the crunch out of my mouth because I said, well, you heard me. I said, oh my gosh, 
It's just crunching and crunching and crunching and you can't even hear anything. It's very good. We're both on the fence about whether it's, it's not burned, but it's like really well done. How's that, director? It's very delicious. It is excellent though. Would I make it again? Yes, I would. I would take a little less heat onto that pan is what I would do. I would also try to find a smaller container. So I don't know. Do you want it thicker than that? No, I, I don't think, think so. so. No, you wouldn't get your teeth through. Yeah, you wouldn't. Okay. Anyway, I think it was a success. Absolutely. Success. I made toffee. I conquered it. I faced it and I conquered it. You can too. If I can do it, you can too. All right, everybody. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you liked it a lot, why don't you subscribe and share this video with a friend that might like toffee. Take care. Bye-bye.